Hello, hello. Welcome to A Mind Elevation Nation with Shavariel. That's me. Discussing a few things, getting our mind elevated into a higher uh, betterment of perspective. And also getting some tips and some hints <laughs> of, how to go th of how to go about things um, in a better way. That's best as I can say it. It's short, simple, to the point. So, let's get into it. Let's share to care this video if you like it. Please like the thumbs up button. Subscribe, of course, so that you know when I post these videos. And then support our business. We are a black-owned business. It's called Aloe Buttercup. It's a skincare company for kids. We are at www.aloebuttercup.com. And then we're also on Instagram. That's Instagram.com slash Aloe Buttercup. And then if you want to connect with me also, that is amazing. I would love to connect with you. I'm also on Instagram.com slash Shavario. So have you ever done something, doesn't matter what it is, but have you ever done something, but it just didn't sit right with your spirit? or it just didn't feel right. And in, even though you want to have integrity and sick with your word, you know, it still didn't give you peace. And so I know a lot of us, if not all of us, can relate to this because some, at some point or another, sometime, we may have done that or are doing it now, or maybe we've done that in the past. And so you'll make a decision or engage in something that's just like, no, don't do it. And you, and you just know, you see the red signs are there, the red flags are there, but you just like, well, life isn't perfect. And so, you know, it, it, it may be just because it's not necessarily going the way that I want it to, but you still stay on the course, even though you don't have peace about that thing. Well, I wanna speak more into that. I want to speak more about it specifically with money because we all have it we all seek it and that's one of the most popular topics now especially for the new year you know finances and the way this recession is going yes we need we each need better finances so in here, I've learned that if you are not in agreement with something, which is okay, because we will have different perspectives, whether it be human relationships, partnerships, business relationships, or whatever the case may be, we will be different than one another. Man is different than woman, woman is different than man, child is different than an adult, adult is different than children. A pet is different because they're, they're an animal, they're not a human being, and so on and so forth. So, but with, with this, when making decisions, oh, I, I have put my foot up. Here's what I did. I put my foot up and just skipped the thing, and I just <laughs> lunged forward. Okay. Anyway, so, so, but you think about these things and have you ever made like a decision even now to where you just like it's not giving me peace well the new thing also that needs to be for 2023 and uh, beyond so our lives and beyond not just this year just this year but beyond is peace i could shout right there i could run i could run right there peace Peace, 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 peace. And I'm not talking about the one you hold in your holster. Not that, not that. That's a different kind. That's a peace, peace. Not, not that. I'm talking about peace, like peace, be still. Ugh, like be still and know that I am God. Peace, that type of peace. And so what you want to do is evaluate every decision that you make. I know some decisions require a more swift response, but in that, open up your ears 
and your mind to ask yourself questions like, what is this going to do for me and the person that it will affect? So Jim Rohn, a, a motivational speaker, would say this back, back in his speeches. Weigh it before you buy it. So say like if you have a bill due and then you go to the store just to get toothpaste or mouthwash and then you go and you look around like oh okay mm -hmm. or you see something that catches your eye like oh you know what i do need this but i only came in here for toothpaste or mouthwash or deodorant or something like that and you're just like mm. but that rest of that money i gotta pay a bill though weigh it so weigh those scales so do you really need it because if you really needed that that extra item it would have been on your list right next to toothpaste or mouthwash or tissue paper or whatever the case may be trash bags whatever but if it was not that means you already set a budget in your head and on paper to say look i'm only coming in the store for one or two items and that's it the rest of that money i need to pay this bill now weigh it if you buy this extra item is that going to leave you in the negative and for you to have to come up with another solution to get money to pay that bill if that is the case do not buy that extra item you will be okay without it please do not look at the sale because and i saw this on a podcast too and the girl said it the lady said it so eloquently she said for things that are on sale and it says and it says it's you save this amount of money. So say like okay if it was uh like body spray or cologne, okay? If it says was $15 now $12, you saved $3. The lady said, "Well, you're not saving money because if you were saving money, you wouldn't have bought the item." Mm. Let me say that again. Slow, okay? If you did not need that extra item, but you see it's on sale, whether it's a body spray or cologne or whatever it is that you see that you are just like, I did, it wasn't on my list, but I want to buy it. If you see that was that says the price was $15, but now it's $12 and you're just like, and, you're, and you're, your blood is pumping, you're just like, oh man, this is a sale. I got to get it because there is no telling when this will go on sale again. And it may not be, but it wasn't on your list. And it says you say you would save three dollars. Well, you're not saving three dollars because it's taking twelve dollars out of your pocket. And so, what the next question would need to be is, do I really need this? The answer is no because again, it wasn't on your list. And again, you will go into the negative. Now, the money that you had to pay that bill, you are now in the negative. Son, a little quieter, please. Huh? You shake you shook your head, no? I asked politely. Huh? Huh? Okay, thank you. But basically yes, so and that happens a little bit more often than we think, but here's the thing. Weigh it before you buy it. Do like Jim Rohn say, weigh it before you buy it weigh it before you i don't like to use the word try try as a failed effort and you know who taught me that my college professor did and and man i've had a lot of a lot of profound women in my life as far as like teachers guiders such and such forth um but her name was alice gray i believe that was her last name and so Shout out to Miss Alice if she's watching this video. But anyway, she said, trying is a failed effort. That's like saying you tried to get a drink of water. Well, did you get a drink of water or you didn't? I tried to call you. Well, did you call me or you didn't? So yes, but weigh it before you buy it. So, and even with that, to circle that back around to your piece, if, it, if you are doubting to do something and it's not giving you peace 
don't do it don't do it now it's okay that in some instances very few where you're doubting and then it actually comes out good okay those are different scenarios but if you are doubting and it doesn't give you peace that's not a good sign so here's the thing about it specifically with money i want to tie this back into peace i want to take you to proverbs chapter 23 verse 4. it says do not overwork to be rich because of your own understanding cease verse 5 will you set your eyes on that which is not mm. For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away like an eagle toward heaven. So, and I've had that experience before doing all this overtime and then you spent that money. So that's that's what it's relating to. And, and not overworking to be rich. It's okay to work hard, of course. But to overwork, neglecting uh, fa your family, neglecting your spouse neglecting your family time that you normally spend with ma pa or grandma and grandpa or your mom and your dad's what they call them do not overwork that to be rich so do not sacrifice that time because time is precious and you don't nobody knows when it's their time to go so do not sacrifice that time for money money comes money goes and there's plenty of money in the world for everybody to be rich so let's keep that god bless you let's keep that in mind when we're making also decisions like to say if if maybe a friend called you late night god bless you Maybe a friend called you late night and they're just like, can I have a ride? Can you come and pick me up? And I'm at so-and-so. And you're just like, okay. But we have gone through this before. And I, and I explained to you, stop going to those places by yourself. It's dangerous. But that person is just like, well, can you please come and get me? because you have enabled their behavior before you just like okay i'll come and get you and then as you're thinking about it you're just like man i don't know i told that person not to go down there and now they're calling me again to to pick them up here's what you can do if you're feeling strong about it like this is not giving me peace god bless you like this is not giving me peace i, I am not enabling your behavior here's what you can do now, I'm not saying this is for everybody because maybe that friend truly needs you to come to go and pick them up. So you you find what's right in your heart to do the right thing. There are other options. I will say if you're not willing to go and do that, pick them up, maybe you can send them an Uber and you and you will be giving. Now, this would be a charitable thing because you'd be like, look, I'm not coming to get you. I already told you no. Here's what I will do. I will call you an Uber for this person to come and get you. But after tonight, look, you go down there again. Do not call me. These are my boundaries. I've, we've already discussed this before. And do that. And if it gives you peace doing that in that way, there are other options. But I'm saying explore what gives you peace. There is no amount of money. There's no amount of fame. It's no amount of influence. It's no amount of popularity. It's no amount of power that you could sacrifice for peace. You can have all that stuff and not have peace. Peace comes before money. Peace comes before having a lot of friends around you that, that don't even add not even two cubits to your peace but are steadily taken from you. It's peace season peace 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 and then also i wanted to tie that in with proverbs chapter 28 verse 6 now this is what it says the word says better is the poor who walks in his, in his integrity than one perverse in his ways though he be rich now going back to decision making it can apply to anything 
but let's say in regards to money. I'll tell you this. I am on Fiverr and for modeling and I've had a few people, too many for my taste, come and reach out to me for, for inappropriate gigs, whether it be gigs to send feet pictures or to make a video or whatever the case may be. Here's how I tie that into here, integrity. That's not my walk to do those type of things. And so I stay away from that stuff and I even had to put on my description, hey, okay, it's too many of y'all, okay, do not message me about any of these things, okay? So it weeds out all the nasty people that just do nasty things. But even in that, even, okay, let's say, let's say you on Fiverr or Upwork or Freelancer or whatever the case is, and somebody reaches out to you uh, for feet pictures. Well, they're not inquiring that they are a footwear line or a shoe company. So what do they need your feet pictures for? Just ask yourself that. And I'm real brilliant with that too. I'll just be like, uh, is this for a shoe wear line or footwear line? What do you need foot pictures for? Because now that's that's the thing that a lot of people that I see a lot of people's into feet. Foot fetish. Feet. Feet pictures. Feet video. And at that point you already know, okay, this is not right. Okay, it may seem innocent because it's feet. That's not what that person was asking you for. That's not their intent. So therefore, you know it's wrong because it's going to end up on a website somewhere for feet. So if you know that and you just feel convicted, like, mm, I don't know about that. That means it's wrong. Don't do it. It says, though, then, okay, let me read it again. Better is a poor who walks in his integrity than one perverse in his ways, though he be rich. It could be a ton of people asking for offers like that for feet pictures, but you know where that's going. It's, they're not going to shoe wear brands or footwear lines. They're going to those sites, adult sites, okay? So just ask yourself again, when you're making these decisions, is this going to give you peace? Peace outweighs money, things, popularity, fame, influence. It outweighs that because peace, nobody can break your peace when you have peace. And in peace, you know who you are. In peace, you have your confidence. In peace, you have your strength. In peace, you know what righteousness is. In peace, you know where you stand in, in the power of God and the Lord God. So also be aware of that. And then here's the last one I wanted to I want to give to you before I wrap this up. I love this scripture. It's John chapter 14. Uh, verse 25 through 27, the gift of his peace. Specifically, well, the whole thing is good. I'll read it to you. So it says, verse 25, these things I have spoken to you while being present with you, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. This verse 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. Hallelujah. I heard you say that. Hallelujah. So I give that to you to say, look, when the Lord Jesus gives us peace, those who follow him, he gives us peace. Those who are thinking about, about following him, look, you will find no greater peace than in our Lord and Savior. And for those who are just like, no, I'm not doing that. Prayer, prayers be to you. Okay? That you will come into the light. But I say that peace, peace, let peace be in your decisions. Peace. 
peace. If it does not give you peace, it is not worth sacrificing who you are. It is not worth giving your mind to something that that is God bless you. That is not going to give you value of peace back. It is not going to be worth you putting your your image, your your family legacy on the line for this moment or for a few months of, of doing this or whatever. It's not worth it. If it does not give you peace, keep your peace. Build your peace and let it resonate in the Lord Jesus. So may that all find you well. I hope to, not hope, but we will talk again and you have a good evening. Peace, y'all. See you again. See you again. <laughs>